Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you, I love that little jacket dress combo. No one in Fairhaven cares much about fashion, other than Francis, Sophia, and myself. Oh, thanks. That must have been one nice thing about living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration. I do not mind living in a place where no one seems to care if you wear the same thing every day. It's kind of liberating. I guess. I just have so many fabulous ideas for new designs and I have nowhere to wear them. Don't get me wrong. I like selling flowers, but my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When I do, folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. Tara Wild, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to pick up some medication. Uh, for my grandmother? Ah, uh, yes. Here it is. It's very sweet of you to run Hazel's errands. Her mobility has decreased markedly this year. But lest you think I only treat Hazel, I want you to know I can help you too. I'm not sick. I mean, I don't, I don't think I am. Do I look sick? No, no. You're adjusting to a new job with much more manual labor. Each night that you don't go to bed on time, you lower your immune system's capabilities. Working outdoors in the rain and cold can have the same effect. Eventually, you'll leave yourself open to colds and viruses. And when you come down with something, your energy levels plummet. If that happens, come see me for a restorative. Otherwise, you might pass out. Oh gosh, I would never live that down. Sometimes I have a difficult time sourcing all the ingredients. So you may see requests on the town notice board. Please fulfill them if you can. Seeing patients takes up most of my time. I'll do my best. I visited Amira. This is for you. My own medicine courier. I'm the luckiest grandmother on the island. <laughs> of course, Grandma. Anytime. Is it time for bed? Time for...
Am I? Time for... Did the bees make any honey yet? Bee, hold. <laughs> See? I told you they wouldn't sting you if you stepped up nicely. Uh-huh. Local honey is super popular. Sebastian drowns his pancakes in the stuff. And not in maple syrup? That's a breakfast crime. I know. Weird, right? <laughs> but our mom used to eat pancakes like that, too. My guess is he does it as a way of remembering her. Did your mom pass away? No. Um... I don't think so. Listen, here's some more tulip seeds. Sorry, should I not have... The more you plant, the more likely you are to attract bees. A win-win. Has Damon hit on you? Or have you not met him? I, um, uh... You're new and cute, so it won't be long if he hasn't yet. 